It's a new day, which means a new video, and you know what that means, right? You clicked on this video, so you know exactly what, whatever. It's we're here for some Karens, Kevins, and their public freak out of sheer stupidity here on Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things with your host, me, the Australian idiot, and let's get into the clips. Side note, uh, thanks for 20k, we kind of hit it in the loo period where before, after I'd made yesterday's video before it came out, but yeah, I just want to say thanks, that's uh, pretty cool, we're getting faster. 100k maybe? I don't know. <laughs> In this clip we get graced by the oh-so-gracious Ric Flair who seems to be a bit drunk and doing some really stupid things and letting his ego take hold for a little bit. Yeah, good. Well, I have been there wrong. Except spend money and put this place over and bring my family and friends here. That is bad for you. Why would it be bad for you? Well, watch social media tomorrow. I don't follow social media. Well, you better. I don't get stuck on my phone. What's your name, Nick Job? Nicholas what? Nicholas Dickhead. You don't have to call me like that, sir. Don't ever talk. You don't have to call me like that, sir. You don't have to do this to me. To humiliate me and my family. I'm not humiliating I didn't do one thing wrong. I walked into the bathroom. And you cussed on my kitchen manager. Oh, you're a kid guy across this. Really? What world do you live in? No, same world you live in. How did I cost him? Did I touch him? You said cost I never said a cuss word. You know, is that his word against yours? I didn't say one cuss word. Okay. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Oh, God. No, ma'am, I'm going to give you a thousand dollar tip just to say to him, Kiss my ass. If you walk you outside be, here, you don't have to be disrespectful to me, sir. We're being I know. You, you are you're disrespecting me. How am I disrespecting you? Tell me to leave. I'm not telling you to leave, or just telling you that you're cut off. Oh, I'm cut off because I'm drunk? Really? Yes, sir. It don't matter if you're famous or not. It's the same ma'am, 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 ma'am. Please give yourself a thousand dollar tip. I'll write it. I'll let me do it. Thousand dollar tip. Here, give me this. This guy and I are so cool. She and I are cool. And long come the gym shit. You don't have to call me like that. I just said it. I never did. I get it. I'll say it again. You're a dipshit. You have to get out of here right now. Oh, I'm leaving. Trust me. I won't come back yet. Thank God. Come on outside here and talk to me like a man. I'm not going to do that because I'm on the clock. <laughs> you of course you are. You are the pussy block. Go outside. I'm going to stop. Hey, you want to go out and talk to me in the parking lot? I don't work here. I don't give a shit. No, no, no. We'll talk tonight. No, no, no. I'm sorry, sir, but please stop. What's that? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay? What did you say to me? What did you say to me? Excuse me. Oh, I brought my whole family here. Okay. Nothing quite like the ego of a rich person, and even the rich people that don't show off their ego get them drunk enough, it might come out, as we see here. <laughs> I mean, you say it's all, oh, it's just my word against yours. Well, unfortunately, it's your word against uh, this video here, which um, I don't think really paints you in a favorable light. So, yeah, it may have been a bad decision there. Oh, unfortunately, it's already out in the media. Whoopsie daisy. I don't know who did that. Not me. I mean, I can't fully, fully be like uber angry at someone like this. It's just like you're drunk as hell. They're trying to cut you off and get you out. And of course, because they're trying to cut off your alcohol that you're already currently enjoying, it's you're not going to have the greatest reaction. Unfortunately, that's just what happens here. Hopefully, uh, the next day he went into maybe make some apologies. Probably not. Probably didn't care enough. I don't know. Who knows? You're not going to believe this, but someone encountered a crazy person at McDonald's. Yeah, I know, right? That's insane. Oh, wait, that's just normal. It's McDonald's. What else do you expect? Normal people? Actually, they'll be there too. There's just also a heavy abundance of wackos. Like this one, here. Get away from my car. Come on! Get away from really, my car. Really, you? Boy? Get out of your car, boy, son! Go somewhere, crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Get out of your car now. You yeah, eating get... your McDonald's? You get out of your car, car, asshole! Get your order straight. Come on! Come on now! I'm so ready to fight club this shit! Let's go! Come on! Um, no, Come on! Me, oh, no. pussy! Pussy! You're a pussy! 
get a degree, go to school. I am what I go eat. Go to school. I am what I eat. You see my car you're versus your car. You're eating McDonald's? Go to you school. You see my car versus go your car. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I make a million dollars a year. You but you McDonald's. Son, no, I'm not eating at McDonald's. I was getting a coffee at McDonald's. You? That's not $2 eating? $2 bill? That's not eating? <laughs> Take your ass on. Get out of your car, pussy. Get Go out home. of your car. Go home. I'm here. No, Go home. come on. Go home, Miss Washington. On. Take your ass home. Come on. No, get your ass out of your car. Are you going to post this? Because you look like a pussy right now. A pussy with your, uh... <laughs> Get a degree. Go to school. Uh -huh. Go to school. Oh, I'm putting it on the internet. Really? Yo, get away from my car. I'm not near your car. Your white ass car. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, pussy. Pussy. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. Get away from my car. You're a pussy. You I'm not touching your you smell white like pussy. two door car. You smell like pussy. No, get, I don't. Up, get away from my you car. You only wish you could have this dumb. This is bitch bugging. Come on. Dumb. Look at this. Like, I have your car. Much less expensive, dickhead. Come on. What a pussy. You're a pussy. <laughs> a pussy. You are a pussy. <laughs> Because this woman is oh, and I'm uh, I'm a pussy. Yet? I won't even get out of my you car. Done yet? I'm not, I'm a pussy. You done yet? No, I'm not done yet. Till you get out of your car and stand up against me. Let's go. You Come done on. yet? Can you go somewhere else? Look, I'll people go are trying anywhere. To, people to are trying beat to your ass. I'll are, go anywhere to beat trying, your ass. Oh my god, people are trying to get in their car. No beef with her. I have a beef with you. Get out of your car, you little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me put this together right, right? So you make a million dollars a year, yet you go to McDonald's. No, no, not for food, but simply to get a coffee. What a w waste of time and e like, I just gotta sit here and question. Okay, so you're rich and you only stop at a McDonald's. No, not, not to get a snack for food for the morning just because you're a bit busy. No, no, to get a coffee. I'm sure you go past better coffee places on your way to work. Heck, if you're that rich, get a flippin' coffee machine to have at home and you can make really, really good tasting coffees and not have McDonald's or shenanigans. Like, this seems a bit stupid. <laughs> and the rest of the clip's just insane. I, I, this person seems like she's either drunk or high. Maybe a mixture of both. Maybe a bit insane. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of variables going on here. And she seems to be completely off the deep end. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but the whole internet's laughing at you for this one. You're sitting here going like, Oh, you're going to post on the internet? Oh, you're going to show how much of a pussy you are? It's like, you're just getting to show how much of an idiot you are. Like, th I'm sure that in a sober mindset, you'd look at this and go, oh God, and cringe and just do all that crap because this is embarrassing as hell, man. This Karen here gets caught shoplifting and eventually the cop police are caught and when they arrive, she decides to give them the performance of a lifetime. Here it is. My property, yes I will. Walk out the store. Get out the store. Okay, Back up. Back up. No, you're gonna be exerting the use of your badge as you have been, and I'm sick and tired of it. Go. Go. Face. Elbow room. Back up. You want me to go? You yeah. need to back up because you're being aggressive. You need to go. You're being aggressive. After one more time. Yeah. And then we're gonna take her out. You're being aggressive. Are you gonna leave or not? Back up. All right, let's go. Don't. We're not gonna leave. Stop! 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 My ass! Thank you. 
Bravo, bravo. What amazing acting. You should definitely get the Oscar for this one. Maybe an Emmy 2 and a Golden Globe. Look at you go. Look at you go. I can't take this seriously. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just the screaming. is like, police brutality. Ah, ah. It's like, what? <laughs> You know, it, it's funny because, it, like, because of unfortunate events from the past little while now, it's becoming more of a common thing where people who legitimately are getting arrested for legitimate reasons tend to act like this because they think it might successfully get a rise out of people who are around them to potentially do something about it. It doesn't work, though, because most people know better to not do something that's stupid, but, you know, it doesn't stop them from trying to do that. Ultimately, though, it ends up just looking like this, just very pathetic and disappointing to some point. It happened. Here we have a guy going to Subway about three weeks after his previous order to complain about how that order was spicy and made, his, made him sick. We'll, we'll talk about this in a moment, eh? I got a meatball instead of a meatball. It made me sick because it's spicy. Hey guys, I want to up here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this was my Subway. I'll go to Prescott from now on. I know, I know that. You, you, you're okay with me just going to Prescott? You don't need my business? Is okay. that it? No, I want you to come here, but there is, you called me after one week, ten days, you tell me I ordered a sub, and I, I remember even what you said. I called multiple times. You, you don't think it's your responsibility to let customers know it's spicy? No, if you don't ask me if it's spicy or not, if you tell me it's spicy and I say no, and if it's spicy, it's my mistake. But if you don't tell, ask me if it's spicy or not, the difference. They said it had some, uh, pepperoni and it had the mozzarella. Yeah, okay. And that was it. No one said anything about spicy. I don't ask, I mean, I didn't ask to put any kind of peppers or anything on it because I stay away from spicy. I'm, I'm still telling you, if you are not going to ask if it's spicy or not, it's not your that. responsibility is what you're telling me. It's the customer supposed to say, oh, by the way, is anything spicy here? Is this what you're telling me? I'm recording you now. What are you going to do about it? Sure, it's up to you now. You said that he, has, he no has nothing to do if, if, if with he wants... the order you made last, last two months ago. Two months ago. wasn't two months ago. But you called me two weeks ago and you told me I ordered one, month, one week ago. Yeah. Now, so it's three what weeks. Is the point is, what is the point? Whatever you want to do, say. Yeah. I you have, provide cannot. horrible customer service. It's up to you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you, my friend. Bye-bye. So, you know, when you get told that there's pepperoni in there and you usually avoid the peppers inside of these meals because, you know, they're spicy, which is funny to me because it's like, for what you guys call peppers in America, they're two different things. Like your bell peppers, we call them capsicums, and what you guys call pepper peppers, like those little red things, we call them chilies. Like they're two completely separate things, so it's easier to understand. Capsicums aren't spicy. They're fine. I... I don't like them too much, but that's fine, but chilies are spicy, you know? Anyhow, but I, I just got to ask the question, so you're avoiding peppers, right? And when he told you that there's pepperoni in this in this, in this this sub and you still have it, does, does that not send any red flags to you that it might be spicy since you're already avoiding peppers uh, beforehand and you're going to have the pepperoni, which is also going to have a level of spice to it not much but it has a level of spice to it did, did you not think about that if you're avoiding peppers in most degrees you, you think having pepperoni is a great idea and that's not going to be <laughs> like it, it just sounds so stupid there are restaurants where it makes sense like any form of asian cuisines where it's more likely they have spices involved more so than not or your nandos and stuff like that the ones where they do actually make proper spicy food subway they don't do that there are herbs and spices inside of some of the foods but they're not spicy per se they are just hotter than normal no spice and well, one of those clean, and usually those things are very obviously going to be slightly spicy, like, you know, pepperoni. That are called pepperoni for a reason. Like, I, this seems so stupid. Like, genuinely. So this subway worker is just finished off serving a customer and decides to go take her break. Another customer walks in and immediately starts going off in a bit of an argument and tangent on how horrible of a worker she is because she's not serving her right away. 
Hi. Hi. So you're supposed to be serving. <laughs> I'm actually on my break. I'll just be a minute. Sorry. I took a break. No, you didn't. I did. No, you haven't. I literally just finished. Hold on a wee second, actually. The last customer I served was, just give me two wee seconds and I'll show you the time of the receipt. Right, no, no, two wee seconds. Just a wee second. Right now, it's 2019. I served that customer two minutes ago. I'd be sacked. That's great. All right, I'll let my supervisor and my manager know. No. Oh no, I'll be in touch with Oh, that's fine. Do you want the email for Google Tools? No, I'll get that email. Oh, ah, that's fine, babe. That. That's fine. Oh my god. I think I already know what the supervisor would have said to the phone call complaint and then when the story gets filled in later by their worker, it'd just be like, oh yep, yeah, that'd be them. It's like, unfortunate timing, you took your break and you're the only one at the store today so at that point in time. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Like, it's just one of those things where, you know, we have to take a break at some point. We can't just work non-stop and stay at the counter. Like, like, what do you think we are, not human? Like, we can't just sit, stand there at the counter all all day every day we do take breaks we do finish a shift like I, I feel like it's a, one of those things where a lot of people don't realize that uh, yeah we do finish work and sometimes you'll watch you'll see us walking around the store with our uniform still on because we just finished work doing some shopping and some people just think it's like one of those things like I'm gonna ask you if you can help me it's like okay I'll point you over this thing and then there's just like other people it's like oh why are you doing shopping you're supposed to be working like there's the people that just don't understand the thing that you know we're all humans we're humans too we need breaks we finish work we're not always here to slave away for a pay like seriously here we got a Karen who's a bit too impatient so she decides to take the handicapped line in Walmart and when she gets queried about why she's doing that rather than explaining and potentially having an actual valid reason for using it she decides to take the insult the person route yeah of course they did <laughs> even kids were smart enough to put it on you guys were smart enough to get it. I know. I didn't know I was in the handicap line. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, shh. Really? You need to make her leave because oh, really? she is harassing us. And she's saying, what are you carrying? Five? I mean, she is absolutely <laughs> out of control. Yeah. You have to I leave now? very impatient at this point. Can I get a Lori? Come here. about 40 minutes ringing up their cheap little yes, coupons. Because we're so broke and so fat and we need all this food. So. That's right. Yeah, yeah. she actually And she's a Mormon. <laughs> she's yeah. a Mormon. Oh, yeah. Because we're so broke and we're so fat. Absolutely. Yeah, so uneducated. And... Do, do you need eyes to see that or does a mirror reflect the same thing to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you need eyesight. Um, sure. Oh, um, because we're bringing up coupons. Uh, do you know how long we've been here waiting for your groceries? Choose a different line then. Yeah, That's simple. Leave it alone. This is going on YouTube. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, I can make anything viral. Ask these people how long they waited. Did you wait a pretty long time for these ladies? Thank you. Oh. Way before us, uh, dude. But ignorance. That's in Walmart. Boy, they waited. Great. So the a couple. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. Francine, 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 let just leave her alone. She is ignorant. Please relax. It's not a matter of someone taking over. She needs to be removed. I think it should be said, not all handicaps are visible. She might have an invisible handicap, but when you get queried about that and your choices and your option to what you choose to do in that situation is to just verbally insult the person querying you a question is just not how I would proceed to do this type of thing. I don't know. It makes, it come, it makes you come off like you're genuinely don't have any form of issue at all and you're just being there because you're a bitch. And hey, that might have actually been the case in the situation. Or you might have genuinely needed the handicap line for one reason or another. Either way, you're an idiot. Learn to be nice. This clip is quite interesting. So there seems to be a bit of a kerfuffle that has occurred in this Uber ride. And unfortunately, we jump in in the middle of this argument when one of the passengers is whipped out of her phone to record the rest of this incident. I'm just going to let you watch it before I give you my thoughts. Keep it up. Please keep it up. I will. Good. Keep Respect it up. Respect is earned and deserved. 
Yep, and you haven't go given here, none. Go, go now, go back. To Respect home. is earned. And when are you going to give some, sir? Oh, when? I'm sick and tired of I've you. been in this car for five, for, for 50 minutes. When have you respected me as a passenger? When? I got in here. I asked you because you turned your music so, down. You turned so the shit up even more. Like Nobody you, should you have to so, ask you that. You feel so entitled. Yes, I feel entitled because I'm a passenger. You're a passenger, but this is And this is your car. job. It's not my job. It's your job. It's my car. Be I, I can kick you out of the car anytime I want to. I, guess what? I don't work for anybody. Then you do what you need to do. I don't work for anybody. Please. I work for myself. Okay. Keep on. No, keep I can, on, can keep, keep you out of It's my car. Okay. Please, she's no worries. Don't be quarreling with her. Please, just go. Go you like this. Black the, Americans, the you next, feel so entitled. Over what? The next right. Lazy as Yes, yeah. Don't get some job. Mm -hmm. You like to live on welfare. My tax money is taking care of you equal if you don't know that. Mm -hmm. oh. Keep it up. Bullshit. Yep. If you're dealing with other persons, I'm don't f shit with me. I'll kick you out. I need to kick you out physically. The first right. My God. You're crazy. The first right, yeah. See, I'm on the phone. I'm following the GPS, and that's what the GPS is telling me to do. And I asked you why you on the phone to make a left turn. I am following if the you GPS, wasn't... and I was so right. What? I, the I GPS right. is wrong sometimes. That's why I'm up and paying attention so I can tell you which way to go. Um, if you have different issues, I'm not responsible for it. If you have issues, I'm not responsible for it. If you're asking who I think is in the wrong in the situation, I genuinely think it's a good mix of both of them. From the sounds of it, there's a high chance the Uber, dri the Uber driver, when they had music on, was told to turn it down, and they may have turned it up, or it could have just it went to a different song that was slightly louder than others. It is a thing. It's a very funny issue. Like, there's some songs that I'll listen to on Spotify that are a lot lower in volume, and I'll have to have the volume a lot higher to hear them nicely, and then there's other songs that are a bit louder in comparison, and that causes issues. Or maybe he did deliberately turn the music up, in response to their complaint. That is a bit of a dick move. Whatever. I think the biggest issue that's come here is that instead of just like, yep, cool, we're almost at the end of our drive, let's just sit here and wait and get this over and done with and move on with our lives, you decide to start this argument here for one reason or another, and now you're just getting into a useless argument with your person who's currently driving you to your destination. Because yes, they could just literally kick you out of the car now. They don't have to put up with you. And yes, I get the concerns that GPSs are going to take the wrong directions at times, but the Uber drivers are usually just going to follow the GPS. It's just better for you to sit back and uh, let them go and do their thing, you know? I... <sighs> As I said, I think both sides are on the wrong here. The Uber driver could have handled this a fair bit better, and then there's also the special dick move. He did deliberately turn his music up in response to being asked to turn it down, but the passengers also has just handled this in a most terrible fashion. Like, I've done Uber recently. I've done Uber driving recently because I did go on a trip like a week ago, and some one guy had music playing. I didn't particularly care. I don't... Like, it's something I just don't care about. I'm just there to be taken to my destination, be done with it. Like, no need to make a big deal out of something that's not worth it. In this next clip, we got a Karen who uh, needs to return some clothes but missed out on the actual policy. Here, but that's the policy. You've got plenty of time to print whatever you want out here if you overseas. It doesn't say that. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm here right now. I'm asking you to show me where the receipt is. That's your policy. 
Oh, show me that. That's not fear to me as a customer. I purchased something. How am I going to bring it back? Do you want the one that you're asking for? Put it in the garment bag. Put it in the garment bag. Okay, I just want to make sure that it doesn't happen. This is the one that I purchased. Be returned within a certain amount of time. Do you understand what you're doing? Like, you got what you're doing, right? Like, as a customer, like, I can't be very good. Is it Nordstrom, the company that hires back? It actually is. But I have a receipt. I'm not taking that. I don't care. It's Nordstrom. You guys are like, I'm like, I have a receipt. And we're we're how would I know this? Do you do like how like yeah, I'm sure everybody knows the account and I'm like sure about it. How does anybody know it? Is it on your printed uh, receipt? Yes, it's not on your phone. Let's get you a phone. And this is terrible customer service. Right there in the line, which you just said kind of hidden over there. I like the right one. It's not on your receipt. All right, I need to move the other manager's name. Give me a little number and direct her. Contact number, you can reach out to her. Oh, she's not going to answer, I'm sure. I wonder if she's in the position to randomly. So there were no notes, my love. So how did she get the answer? Okay. I worry. Oh, right. Let's get you out of this environment. <laughs> I'm gonna skip her so she can just keep doing what she's doing. It's not right. Um, <laughs> now is it just me or did it feel like that, that clip repeated itself now is it just me or did it feel like that clip just repeated wait a minute <laughs> That's just like I did just this entire thing. The how she kept going. I was like, oh, but the policy's not on the receipt. Oh, the policy's not over there. Oh no, the policy's not on the receipt. Oh, they're not pol. It's just like, bro, ma'am. I get it. I feel like that maybe there should be a short home variation of the policy on the receipt so it's there. But at the same time, it's probably one flipping Google search away. They probably have posters somewhere around the store. It may not be big because I know they like to do that. There is a small A4 piece of paper that's got this massive dialogue of the policy on it. Because I know that the store, retail stores and grocery stores here in Australia do the exact same thing with the policies. <laughs> They're on small pieces of paper right at the bottom of the service desk so you don't really see it. But it's there so they can't be legally hold for anything. But it's just like go going around these loops over and over and over again. It's just ultimately gotten you nowhere. And then when you go to, then you get told, okay... Go call the regional manager. They don't pick up. She loses her shit. She throws the phone and then falls right back into her routine to loop about the receipt not having the policy on it again. Like, in most cases, uh, usually the window's about 30 days for most things. Walmart seems to be 45 days in this instance here, but usually it's 30 days. If you don't return your stuff within the first month, then you're probably not going to be able to get a refund for it. It just is what it is, unless it's something electronic wise where it's got like a year warranty or two year warranty and the electronic dies and then you can get a replacement but that's a different scenario than fucking clothes here we cut in, in the middle of a bit of an argument between someone going through the drive through at Starbucks and the employee in the actual drive through window itself not 100% sure what was happening prior to this all we know is what happens next cool all right I'll send your own me too perfect and I get paid. 
And you're about to be fired. That's what you're about to No, be. I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Is that mine? Can I get a straw with that, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. She won't bite. I appreciate you. Can I get a receipt as well? With the name on there? It's not my name on there. Okay. But you can see it right here. All right. No. I'll print your receipt. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Actually, you can go ahead and refund me. I won't. Yes, you You will. got your drink. There you go. Oh, my. Okay. There you go. Yeah, keep going because I'm gonna press charges on you. Go ahead. Keep Go going. Ahead. Go ahead, press your charges. I will. Thank Go you. Ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Press your charges. Okay. Go Do ahead. It. Keep driving so I can yeah. get your license plate. You threw something at me. What do you think was gonna happen? Okay. It's on deck. Let's go. Do it. Now. I just have one big question here. How did we even get here in the first place? Because clearly we're being dropped into the middle of this argument that's already been going on for a portion of time between this driver and the Starbucks employee. Now, I think just one thing you should get out of the way immediately, how this ends with the customer throwing the drinks at the Starbucks employee is just wrong. There is no two ways bad. Doesn't matter how someone talks to you or if they're rude to you or treat you like crap, you don't just throw crap at them because that can result in a lot of other things like potentially injuring someone depending on how things land. It's just a big no-no, you don't do that ignoring that part of it i do feel like the starbucks employee here is definitely being very very unprofessional whether that be purely because of how she's been treated already by this customer or whether that just be her personality or how she chose to handle the situation in the first place is a question that i really don't have the answer to it's intriguing to say the least but the lack of context on how this even begins really makes it difficult to decide on what's the wor who's the worst party here Actually, no, that's easy to decide. The customer who throws the drinks at the Starbucks employee, that's just a no-go, straight up. In this clip, we're going to carry who's attempting to stop a kid from running a lemonade stand on the side of the road because apparently it's going to cause too much traffic and they don't have the permit for it. No, we don't want the traffic in front of us. No, it's going to. You have your own home, correct? Yeah. We're here trying to... I don't need the you traffic. I, I don't... Why'd traffic. you choose mine? Because it's by the road where more people can buy it. Okay, well, there's plenty of other and places, sir. Please move your This is a public place. No, but the it's not. Thing I've ever heard. No, it's an HOA. You can't. This is a county road. This is a county okay, road. Okay, it's an HOA. You have to have a permit. Okay? Okay. okay. Can I give you some cinnamon rolls? Ma'am, I don't want the cinnamon rolls. I just don't want the traffic. Okay. You guys didn't even. It's considered not, the people who live yeah, here. Yeah, we did. We told you, but it's going by them and have them sit with like No, you didn't. You didn't come over. You didn't. I ask told her what she was setting up, y'all. As soon as you get set I up, told go across and go around. That's not my husband. Or whoever. Okay, just please move. I'm trying to be polite. I really yeah, we am. Are, no, we're just, we're just going to exercise our lives. I don't really want. You're not exercising me right now. I'm telling you it's illegal. Well, I don't think it is. It's illegal. It's illegal. Because we looked into it. We've had a lemonade too. We had to have a permit. We have our own property. So, yes, I do. I have five kids. But I also want to go set up another front of other people's houses without asking if it was okay. That You're is so the great. point. So you have to face in that way. This is also the entrance to my home, yes, sir. Yeah. This is right yeah. here. Yeah. This is. Okay, this is ours here. This the the community here. Right. Right. So if you have your community set up in your community, I, that's all I'm asking. Is you guys did not ask? We didn't come. Why you just we set ask up. You? It's public property. It's, like it, it's polite. Yeah, well, you're or who that's that like having was a yard not polite to us at all. Well, well I'm trying to call be polite. The cops. Okay, do it. We're only gonna be here another yeah. thirty minutes. So. No, that's okay. You can pack up and go. Or the cops. Okay, we will. So all she wanted to do this week was to have a little lemonade okay, stand. That's okay. You're so I great. That, but you well, set up. you're yes. so sweet and well, neighborly. I appreciate it. So we're like, oh, so you just, just pick a random street. Yeah, this is a random street. Street. Yeah, you're the victim. Go ask them if you can set up over there. There. 
public land over here. Just call the cops. I'm done talking to you okay. for this poor little girl. If so you have, I'm not if I'm you not have children. You're making this a totally traumatic event. I do. How sad. Maybe you guys should ask. Oh Maybe you God. should have a heart you in your body. It, it, it wouldn't have changed your mind, too. I told a heart, ma'am. Listen. But I follow, the, I look into the regulations and everything. Oh, I do it's have a freaking heart. lemonade stand. I Give me a care. break. Oh, call. I'm done talking to you. Okay. Call. And then go away and let us sell until the cops come. No, well, don't sell. It's illegal. Okay, the cops can do that for us. Great. Yeah. Thank you, citizens. Arrest. Hey, look at No, it's, it's not super fun. Super fun. Thank you. <laughs> You're great. You can go and she'll have a better experience. Oh, that's what it was. You're amazing. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Wow. Thank what you. Happened in this country? It's the saddest thing. Yeah. So what happens? Can't even have a lemonade stand without a lemonade. Honey, that's freaking out. Home. We are not traffic between right now. Nobody's stopping here either. Well, so it's more of a chance. We said five cars go by and our house we've had zero. Then you don't have to worry about the traffic, do you, that you were so worried about? No, 911 no. it. 911. <laughs> it, it's simple as easy. The cops don't need to get involved. You just need to pop up and go. We Not are in 30 happen. minutes. Not 30 minutes. We were oh, get a life. Just, do, just go call the cops in your house. I mean, I get it. Regulations are regulations. But at the end of the day, why the fuck do you need to care so much about this? Oh no, a kid selling things on the side of the road. End of world. It's going to make everyone die of poison. And the one car that's passing every few minutes is going to cause a lot of traffic if one of them decide to stop. End of world. I, I don't get why you need to make such a big fucking fuss over something like this. Like, it's almost a minimal thing. Like, it probably works slightly different here in Australia, but pretty commonly in certain areas, you'll just find a guy in his ute parked on the side of the road with a bunch of flowers and he's selling them to people. You could stop there, get him on the side of the road, or just continue on the main road. It's not really too much of a thing to really care so goddamn much about. So here we have a Karen who uh, is doing something in a pedicle that you don't do. I'm not 100% sure or anything happens beforehand. Apparently she was on her phone and this guy wasn't happy that she was. So this guy starts recording her and when that happens she has a full on meltdown. Here, let's call 911. And let's just get it over with because you're harassing me for no reason telling me not to be on the phone. Here, I'm recording you too. How you like it? Recording you too. You like it? Keep recording. Go ahead, keep recording. Is it nice because you bother your customer that I've been coming here for so long? I don't, I don't Telling me not, not to be on the phone? I, I, I don't know about that, sorry. Well, it's either he goes or I go, so what's his? No, no, you, you got that sit No, it's either he goes or I go. No, no, that's it. That's it I've been coming here for years. So it's either he goes or I go, so what's his? I'm your customer, my daughter's is your customer, so who's gonna go, me or him? I've been coming here for five years. It's either him or me. But it's either he's gonna go or I'm gonna go. Because he bothered me for no reason. He harassed me for no reason, telling me for me to get off of my phone, for me not to talk on the phone. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna go. Oh no, oh no. No. Keep recording, sissy. Keep recording, because you probably wish you had a cut like me, right? Right? Keep recording. I should show you my uh, parts. Sissy, queer. Eat my f Eat it. How's that? Queer. Queer, because you want to I'm being completely honest, I've never had a pedicure before, so I have no idea how one of these things is supposed to operate. Is it wrong to be on your phone on a phone call whilst having one? Is that bad or whatever she was supposedly doing? I don't know, I guess you guys will let me know in the comments, but the other part to it, I find it so funny that she was trying to get what she wants, trying to get things done her way by like, I have an issue with this, you need to get rid of this guy or I will go. He's clearly not really doing anything aside from recording my wacky behavior, but I have massive issues with everything that's now happening and you must get rid of him, otherwise I will go. I've been a customer for many, many years. Like, that's gonna change anything. 
Who cares how long you've been going to that place for? Who cares how long you've been a customer there for? If you're being a complete and utter asshole about it, no one's going to care beyond that point. And I love how when you don't get your way, you start to leave, and then you just start trying to use every word in the book to insult the guy who was recording you. Like, ma'am, you've just turned to be the most horrible person, and I'm pretty sure these staff members will be happy to never see you again. Here we have a police officer that's pulled someone over and doesn't exactly understand the exact way to operate a traffic stop. You can't ask for a license unless you state the reason you pulled me over, sir. Yeah. You, have to, you have to state the reason you pulled me over first. What's the reason you pulled me over? What's the reasoning? You're going to show me your license. Okay, but you have to tell me the reasoning for pulling I me don't, over. You're not in charge. Look, is this a traffic stop? Yeah, yes, it is. Okay, so if this is a traffic stop, you're not, then I what is the reasoning? License. Listen, I'm, what's the reasoning okay, for the traffic stop? Just, just hang on right here just a second. Okay. There's got to be a reasoning when you state a traffic you, stop, sir. There's a reasoning for it. I understand no. that I'm no, not you in charge. Don't, you, don't have any, in you don't charge. have any reason. Nobody's in charge. You're not in charge. I'm not in charge. Nobody. I'm pretty is. sure I turned my lights on and you pulled over, correct? Yeah. Well, so somebody. Because you're charge. a servant of the law. Somebody. You're a charge. servant of the law. So what is the reason that for the stoppage? That's what I want to understand. Okay. You just hold on, just a minute. You'll okay. find out. I'll hold on. I'll be glad to. I got some help coming. Okay. Cool. What help, help for? Help for what? What type of hell are you talking about, sir? What type of hell are you talking I about? I can't hear you. What type of help are you talking about? Oh, I just got. I got the, the yeah. officer's going to talk to you coming. Okay. Cool. Who? Yeah. What's the reasoning for pulling over though? What's the reasoning? He'll tell you. I want you to tell me because you're the one that stopped me. He asked me. To you pull know what you you're doing right now is illegal, right? He asked me to pull you over. Oh, he asked you to. Yes. Okay. Cool. Who asked him, Bobby? Who asked you? Who's who? I'll let him. I'll let him explain to you. What's your What's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Mathis. Badge number is four. Okay. Hey, can I see the badge number, please? Can I see it, sir? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you know when you stop somebody and you ask them for license and you have to have reasoning behind okay. it, you know. Okay. Or it's against their what constitutional right. What law school did you go to? Uh, does this guy know that you don't need to go to a law school to understand the law? You know, that isn't information that's just hidden from the public and you have to go to a law school to... No, no, no. All of your laws are kind of there for you to go discover on your own, to go find out if you look into it. So, and it's not that hard to look into it. Heck, as a foreigner, someone who lives in a completely different country, I can still make searches to look into law into in America. It's not that hard, buddy. <laughs> and also, if the other guy asks you to pull him over, why isn't the other guy who knows the reason for this out here dealing with this supposed traffic stop? Why did he let you go in blind, not knowing why you stopped them? Like, that just seems so dumb. Just so dumb.